Imagine a time clock that has been ticking for about 13.8 billion years. That's the estimated age of our universe. Now how do we know this? Well, it's not like the universe came with a birth certificate, right? Our understanding of the universe's age comes from a combination of astute observations and complex calculations. Scientists have used several methods to estimate just how old the universe is. One of the most significant methods involves studying something called the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's a sort of echo left over from the Big Bang, the event that gave birth to the universe. This radiation permeates all of space and provides a snapshot of the universe at a very young age, about 380,000 years old. By studying its patterns, scientists can extrapolate back to the time of the Big Bang, giving us that astounding figure of 13.8 billion years. Another method involves studying the movement of galaxies. You see, our universe is a bit like a loaf of raisin bread dough rising in the oven. As it expands, everything within it moves away from everything else, just like the raisins in the dough. By observing how fast galaxies are moving away from us and each other, scientists can estimate the rate of this cosmic expansion. And then, by running the clock backwards, so to speak, they can estimate when all the galaxies were once in the same place, a moment we identify as the beginning of the universe. It's absolutely mind-boggling to think about, isn't it? The universe, with its countless galaxies, stars and planets, has been around for such an unimaginably long time. And yet, here we are, tiny specks on a pale blue dot, trying to understand it all. So, next time you feel old, remember you're actually quite young compared to the universe. Ever wished you could travel at the speed of light? It's a whopping 299,792 kilometers per second. To put that into perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, you could circle the Earth more than seven times in just one second. That's lightning fast, isn't it? Now imagine the Sun, 93 million miles away. Light from the Sun takes approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us. That's how vast the distance is. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as you approach the speed of light, time slows down. This is known as time dilation. It's a fundamental principle that sets a universal speed limit, nothing can travel faster than light. Sadly, Star Trek's warp speed remains a dream for now. Our universe is vast, but just how much of it can we observe? From our tiny blue dot, we look out into the cosmos and marvel at the splendor of the stars, galaxies, and nebulae. But what we can see is just a tiny fraction of the universe. This visible part is what we call the observable universe. It's like our cosmic neighborhood, a region of the universe we can explore and study thanks to the light that's had the time to reach us. The observable universe is estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. That's a number so large it's hard to fathom. If you were to count from 1 to 93 billion at the rate of one number per second, it would take you nearly 3,000 years. And each light year, that's a measure of distance, equivalent to about 6 trillion miles. So you can see we're dealing with scales that are truly mind-boggling. But why can't we see beyond the observable universe? Well, it all has to do with the speed of light and the expansion of the universe. Light from distant galaxies has to travel to reach us. And the farther away a galaxy is, the longer it takes for its light to get to us. However, the universe isn't sitting still, it's expanding. This means that many galaxies are moving away from us, and the most distant ones are receding so quickly that their light will never reach us. It's as if we're in the center of a cosmic bubble with a boundary beyond which we can't see. So in essence, the observable universe is our window into the cosmos. It's the part of the universe that we can, in theory, observe. But beyond it lies the rest of the universe, unseen and mysterious, forever out of our reach due to the cosmic speed limit set by light and the ever-expanding cosmos. The universe might be infinite, but our view certainly isn't. Did you know the universe is getting bigger every second? Yes, you heard that right. Our universe is not a static entity, but rather, it's expanding. It's like a balloon that's being blown up, only there's no one on the outside doing the blowing. This is a concept that utterly shifts our understanding of the cosmos. How do we know this? Well, our understanding of the universe's expansion comes from observations of distant galaxies. In the early 20th century, astronomers detected something peculiar. They noticed that the light from these galaxies was not as it should be. Instead, it was shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. This is known as redshift. The redshift of light from distant galaxies is akin to the Doppler effect, the change in frequency or wavelength of a wave in relation to an observer who is moving relative to the wave source. 
Think of it like the sound of an ambulance siren changing as it speeds past you. In the cosmos when an object moves away from us, its light appears more red. Thus, the redshift of galaxies suggested they were moving away from us, but it gets even more mind-boggling. The farther away these galaxies were, the greater their redshift. This meant that not only were galaxies moving away, but they were also moving faster the farther away they were. This led to an astonishing conclusion. The universe was expanding. Edwin Hubble, a prominent astronomer of the 20th century, was instrumental in this discovery. His observations confirmed that galaxies were indeed moving away from us, and the universe was not static, but expanding. And it's not just expanding. The rate of expansion is also accelerating due to a mysterious force we call dark energy. This is yet another cosmic puzzle that scientists are still trying to decipher. So, the next time you gaze upon the night sky, remember, the universe isn't just big, it's growing. Each star, each galaxy, is moving away from us, and the cosmos is getting larger with every passing second. The universe, it seems, has no intention of standing still. If one universe isn't enough for you, how about a multiverse? Now that's a thought to kickstart our imagination into overdrive. The multiverse theory, as the name implies, suggests that our universe might not be the only show in town. There could be countless others, each with its own laws of physics and unique properties. Picture this, an ensemble of universes or multiverse, each existing in parallel, but separate from our own. Some could be very similar to our universe, perhaps with minor differences. Maybe in one, you decided to have pancakes for breakfast instead of cereal. In others, the differences could be more extreme, with entirely different laws of physics that would make them unrecognizable to us. But why even entertain such an outlandish idea? Well, it's not just for the sake of science fiction. The multiverse theory can potentially explain some puzzling aspects of our own universe. For instance, it might help us understand the enigma of dark matter. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that we can't see or touch, but we know it's there because of the gravitational effects it has on visible matter. Some physicists propose that dark matter could actually be gravity leaking into our universe from other universes in the multiverse. Let's be clear though, the multiverse theory is just that, a theory. It's a fascinating idea, but it's also highly speculative. We don't have any concrete evidence to prove the existence of other universes, but it's also not something we can readily dismiss. Many aspects of the theory are rooted in well-established physics and mathematics. In the realm of cosmology, the multiverse theory is a bit of a wild card. It's a concept that stretches our understanding of reality to its limits and beyond. It's a reminder of how little we truly know about the nature of existence and the secrets the cosmos may still hold. For now the multiverse remains a theory, but who knows what future discoveries may bring. From the infinitely small to the infinitely large the universe never ceases to surprise us. And maybe, just maybe it's not the only universe doing so. The universe with all its vastness and mysteries never fails to astound us. Today, we've journeyed through the cosmos, exploring the universe's remarkable age, the blazing speed of light that even time bows to, and the observable universe a cosmic sphere that extends about 93 billion light-years across. We've also delved into the universe's relentless expansion, a phenomenon that continually stretches the cosmic fabric. In addition, we've pondered over the multiverse theory, an idea that suggests our universe might just be one of an infinite number of universes. Each fact, each theory only deepens our awe and respect for the cosmos. As we continue to gaze into the cosmos, we can only wonder what other incredible facts await our discovery. Whether we are peering at the distant stars, or diving into the quantum world, the universe never ceases to surprise us. It's a never-ending journey of discovery, and we're just getting started.